You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for Black and White Sports. Every time that Aaron Rodgers goes on the Pat McAfee show, he starts dropping bombs. Well, we know he dropped the uh, bomb about the Wuhan virus and the fact that uh, he wasn't vaccinated. And then the media went after him for claiming that he was because he used the term immunized. And all of the drama, the fallout, he lost a, uh, a, a sponsorship situation where he was representing a medical institution. State Farm chose to keep him. It was literally a two-week drama fest. Now, just so that you'll have some context to this, going into this video, when all this news broke, Mike Florio of Pro Football Talk, the next day on his show, says the following. He said, I was told several weeks prior to all of this coming out that Aaron Rodgers was not vaccinated. But he said he did not did not know what to do with the information. And he had had this ongoing feud with Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers doesn't care for Mike Florio too much. Even publicly saying, calling out pro football talk a couple of years ago after a game. And uh, now he went on Pat McAfee's show today and he dropped another bombshell about his medical information and the woke mainstream media. And this is a big one because he calls out the Packers coaches. Aaron Rodgers claims Packer coaches might be leaking his medical information to the media. And look, this is kind of a left-leaning website, so uh, everything they say is not going to be a reflection of what I believe. Since lying to the media about his vaccination status... Aaron Rodgers has been an open book of medical information, but the quarterback is alleging Green Bay Packers coaches might still be the source of leaks to the press. Joining Pat McAfee for his weekly interview on Sirius XM, Rodgers discussed spiraling reports that he his injured and scrutinized toe might need surgery. Quote, with these reports, I don't know where they're coming from. Rogers said on the Pat McAfee show, I don't know who's talking. It seems like there are certain coaches that may have friends in the media that they don't realize are actually just trying to report things. Quote, there were guys for a while who had their people who they would leak stuff to. Rogers added a Packers personnel since testing positive for COVID in early November. Rogers himself has publicly discussed his decision to remain unvaccinated, fueled rumors about having COVID toe, and told reporters he may require surgery. Is it possible Rogers is a leak? Question mark. Last week, Rogers caused a frenzy by claiming his mysterious foot injury was, quote, COVID toe during a public conversation with McAfee. The Wall Street Journal published a report explaining what COVID toe is and took Rogers' admission to McAfee at his word, because the mainstream woke media has to lose their mind over Aaron Rodgers. Hours later, Rodgers claimed he didn't actually know COVID toe was real and lashed out at the publication for pushing disinformation. On Sunday, af on Sunday after the Packers beat the Rams, Rodgers told sideline reporter Aaron Andrews he was hoping to, quote, avoid surgery on his fractured toe. While a coach might be leaking info about Rodgers to the media, the quarterback isn't doing himself any favors by keeping his medical information under wraps. Why is that? It's nobody's business. Rodgers did reiterate to McAfee that if he does undergo surgery, he won't miss any game action because of his nationally scrutinized toe. And yes, I will say this right off the bat. I can think of a couple of reporters out there that it is heavily rumored is connected to certain teams. ESPN's Adam Schefter, it's pretty well known he's got a good relationship with the Denver Broncos. 
Okay, having worked in that area, yada, yada, yada. Ian Rappaport, a lot of speculation over the years that he has a very close relationship to the 49ers and the owner, Jed York, okay? Remember all that drama about Trent Baalke and Jim Harbaugh and Jed York and all that crap that led John Lynch to actually tell 49ers ownership, if this story gets out about You hiring me as a general manager and or Kyle Shanahan as head coach, our deal is off. Jed York actually kept that under wraps. That's the kind of thing that Aaron Rodgers is referring to. These coaches and players have relationships with the media all over the place. Very famously, Shannon Sharp called up Julio Jones during an undisputed episode to talk to him about whether or not he was going to play and if he wanted to be traded and where and the Cowboys were brought up. Remember that whole big thing? Aaron Rodgers knows exactly what he's talking about. He knows there are coaches and players that are leaking, yes, even medical information out to the woke media, and I'm calling the woke media because they lost their mind over his vaccination status. I mean, Mike Florio, I kid you not, I think he wrote 78 articles about Aaron Rodgers over this damn vaccine situation that Aaron Rodgers had. That's exactly what he's talking about. That So this, what he's saying, this is not crazy at all. This is not crazy at all. And he's now it makes you wonder, because it seemed like the Packers and Aaron Rodgers might have been mending things where he might come back for another season. Now that he's dropped this bomb, it seems like Aaron Rodgers is irritated with the Packers all over again. Yikes. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Aaron Rodgers is not a mainstream media fan at all. Man, I like Aaron Rodgers more and more all the time. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.